This is the presentation for the paper titled Data Virtual Machines, Data-Driven Conceptual Modeling of Big Data Infrastructures by Damianos Hadzi-Antoniou and Virena Cantere. This is the outline of the presentation. Preliminaries. The motivation of this paper it is something that has been pointed out uh, by several uh, authors uh, and it has to do with end-to-end -end processing. So we want to define a simple conceptual data layer which is built agilely on demand where all data stakeholders collaboratively work. What is the key idea? The key idea is to easily and quickly add an attribute of an entity uh, for example, the emails of a customer in a diagram. And to associate uh, this attribute to the entity, we use a computation over existing data. That leads us to uh, the concept of data virtual machine, which is a graph-based model that depicts mappings, mappings between attributes. So what is a mapping? A computation over underlying data and attributes become nodes in this graph and mappings become edges. And we have implemented uh, data virtual machines in a tool called data mingler. So who are the data stakeholders in analytics environments? First of all, data engineers responsible to retrieve data from systems, prepare data sets for data scientists, statisticians, uh, who form inputs for machine learning tasks, define ARCOC reports for BI analysis, build models, etc. Data officers um, responsible for data governance, policies, metadata consents. And finally, we are going to have another role, the end users uh, under GDPR uh, framework, who may want to check their data, export them in a machine readable format and hand them to another provider, and we have to enable them uh, as well. So what is the intuition behind data virtual machines? The most well-known conceptual model is the entity relationship model. It's a simple model uh, consisting of entities, attributes, and relationships. And it was popular back in the 80s and 90s. It is easy to explain, teach, comprehend. Uh, and in the past, there were query languages on top of here, diagrams, visual, navigational. And what we did in the past was to start from a conceptual design, the ER diagram, going to a logical model, such as the relational model. And the question we have is, whether we can have the inverse process from existing data, build a conceptual design similar to the ER. This picture shows the difference between the ER approach and the data virtual machine approach. While with the ER approach, we are starting with the conceptual model and we are building a model specific implementation, in the data virtual machine approach, we are starting from various model specific implementations and we want to build a data virtual machine. The key idea is to uh, simply and quickly associate an attribute to an entity, no matter the attributes origin in a diagram. In traditional here theory, attributes can be uh, single or multi-valued, which means that an attribute can have one or more values. For example, the age of a customer is a single value, but the emails of a customer can be many. And an attribute can be also derived. In other words, its value is produced by some computational process. In other words, there exists a process that maps one or more values to that entity, usually via its primary key. So in data virtual machines, attributes are always multi-valued and derived. For example, by using this uh, SQL statement, we can map age to a 
customer ID, the primary key of the entity customer. One can define different processes to add attributes to an entity. For example, can use a select customer ID comma age from customers to map an age to the customer ID. Uh, one can use a Python program that reads a flat file and produces a set of customer ID comma comment pairs and associate one or more comments to a customer ID. And another process could be a cipher query over a graph database that produces a set of customer ID comma friend ID pairs um, that associate a friend ID to a customer ID. Assuming that each entity has a primary key, we can replace entities by their primary keys. So we have just another node in a graph and attributes are multivalued. So we can represent any type of relationship. For example, we can use a select customer ID comma transaction ID from transactions to map one or more transaction IDs to a customer ID. Finally, a process provides two mappings uh, between the attributes. So when we use select customer ID comma transaction ID from transactions, we map um, one or more transaction IDs to a customer ID. However, the same process can be used to map uh, customer IDs to transaction IDs. Proceeding to the theoretical framework. So what is a data virtual machine? A data virtual machine is a graph defined as follows. Nodes represent attributes and an attribute is drawn over a domain. For example, we can have two attributes like cast ID and trans ID. A directed edge A1 to A2 represents a mapping between domains D1 and D2 as given by a multiset S, uh, U comma V, U belongs in D1 and V belongs in domain two. S is usually the output of a process P, such as select customer ID, comma transaction ID from transactions. Now an edge, a mapping, can be represented by a multimap or a key list structure. So we have the key and we have the list for that key. And of course we have also the edge A2 goes to A1, which corresponds to that multimap, another key list structure. So all query processing reduces to manipulation of key list structures via a set of algebraic operators. This is an example of a data virtual machine implemented in Neo4j. So a query over a data virtual machine is a tree, at least for this work, some of the leaves are marked as output nodes, such as this one, this one, this one, and this one. Its internal node is annotated with a theta expression that involves the node and zero or more of its children, like this one. And its edge is annotated with a series of transformations. So the query evaluation proceeds as follows. Uh, it's a recursive bottom-up evaluation of the tree by combining edges rooted on the same node and joining edges rolling up in a path. An edge can be transformed by a series of transformation operators. So we have operators that manipulate key list structures, uh, transformations such as aggregation, filtering, mapping, sorting, etc. We have another operator applied at the node uh, with several, uh, an internal node with several children called theta combine. And then we have the rollup uh, operator that joins um, edges in a path. The operators have been implemented in Java and Python.
A DVM is a conceptual high-level model like ER. Conceptual models can be implemented in different logical models such as object-oriented, relational, semi-structured, multidimensional. The same holds for data virtual machines. However, a data virtual machine is built on top of existing data. So one can instantiate, can generate different model-specific databases and then use this instance as he or she wishes with the query language of the specific model. This is an example that part of DVM can be used to generate a collection of JSON documents. And this is a different subgraph of DVM that can be used to instantiate a multidimensional. Concluding, end-to-end -end processing in analytics environments is imperative and involves uh, different roles. There is a need for one platform where all parties collaboratively work, and we propose a conceptual model called Data Virtual Machine. We claim that only conceptual models can support the goals of end-to-end uh, -end processing, and there is a solid, rich theoretical algebraic framework behind data virtual machines with all the goodies that come with algebraic frameworks such as optimization. And this is uh, the gist of uh, forecoming paper.